Hello, welcome to the Week in Review. I'm Rob Landers. If you're already a Palm Beach Post subscriber, thank you. If not, here's some of our subscriber exclusive stories you might have missed this week. Plans are underway to make a deadly, dark 18 mile stretch of highway from West Palm Beach to Belle Glade less deadly and much brighter. By 2026, the Florida Department of Transportation will begin installing more than 1,000 lights on State Road 80 from State Road 15 to County Road 880. The Transportation Planning Agency is funding the $24.6 million project. Palm Beach Post Mike Diamond has all the details in his subscriber-only story on palmbeachpost.com. Long neglected fairways and overgrown sand traps will become single family homes in Delray Beach as the Pulte Group converts its fifth defunct golf course into housing just as the game is making a pandemic rebound. The Atlantic based home builder closed on a $6 million contract last month to buy the more than 60 year old Sherwood Park golf course south of West Atlantic Avenue and east of Military Trail for the planned enclave at Sherwood Development. The sale of the 37-acre course, which saw its last golfer in 2018, follows city-approved zoning changes and years of negotiation with adjacent developments that initially rebuffed Pulte's plans. Subscribers can find out the number of homes proposed for the development in Kimberly Miller's story on palmbeachpost.com. The statewide spring testing season has begun with thousands of students sitting this month for the last rounds of the soon-to-expire Florida Standards Assessment, or FSAs. But while the end to FSAs has been a repeated bragging point for Governor Ron DeSantis, the demise of year-end high-stakes exams is not at hand. Find out what state law requires and what's likely to come for Florida students in our subscriber-exclusive story on palmbeachpost.com. Serious crime in Boynton Beach has plunged to a 20-year low, but that may not be enough to save the city's police force. City commissioners agreed Tuesday to a three to one vote to look into the possibility of merging the police department with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Rick Bradshaw said this week that a proposal could be presented to the city within 30 to 45 days. Subscribers can learn why the city's police force could go away in our story on palmbeachpost.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information in Palm Beach County. Visit palmbeachpost.com slash subscribe. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching.